short story um, to tell you guys in regards to my experience with Indiana Avenue. Um, today I have here my grandmother, Grandma Wes. Um, she's sitting right here on the left hand side. <clears throat> and my 94 year old Uncle Gilbert, who literally lives right off of Ransom Place, right? Indiana Avenue. So, Uncle Gilbert was my first experience with Indiana Avenue. We lived on the south side off of Draper Street. And uh, my grandfather would frequently go visit his brother, of course. So when we came over on Ransom Place, literally me and my cousins would be out in the yard playing and uh, our grandmothers, you know, would be sitting on the porch just watching us. So that's, that's really where this scene comes from is just that childhood memory for me as going over Uncle Gilbert's house over on Ransom Place uh, visiting him with my grandfather and being out in the yard playing and enjoying the neighborhood. And um, just to tell you a, a, a short story, me and my cousin, Kalisha, her father is here by way of um, Seattle, Washington, flew in to see this uh, review, of, review, uh, review. And uh, me and my cousin, Kalisha, we're playing, and this is, just a, this is just a testament to the neighborhood and how you know, like it was it was different coming from the south side where it's a little bit more diverse. Yeah. And then coming over on Indiana Avenue where it's all black. Oh, yeah. And it's all black folks with you know, that are taking care of their properties. Like my Uncle Gilbert just stopped cutting his yard, what, maybe two years ago? <laughs> He's ninety four years old. That's that's real talk. He just stopped cutting his yard. And you know, he'll even at, at his age but walk to the convenience store because it's, it was his it's his neighborhood, you know what I mean? And um, you know, when we would go over there and uh, me and my cousin Kalisha would be outside and we'd be playing and one day we decided we was gonna take some cheese balls and we were eating them and we were dropping them and we were crunching them in on the ground. Do y'all know we got a whooping so bad? And as I look back at it, it wasn't about us crunching the Cheetos, it was about us making sure that we weren't damaging something that they took so much pride in you know what I mean I'm sure we got out there and cleaned them cheese balls up but you know what I mean they just took pride in what they had over there on Indiana Avenue and on Ransom Place um, so yeah so my mural today is just a, a, a tribute to the elderly like like my uncle Gilbert like my grandmother just to basically say that you know the path that you guys have have paved and the innovation of uh, Ms. Uh, Madam C.J. Walker and all of these things, it's like, like that's not forgotten. And any opportunity that we have as a community to be able to display that, especially in a public forum, there's been so many people while I was working on the mural that just had, that was coming up to me just talking about like, man, like this is needed, like this makes me feel welcome. You know, this makes me feel like, you know, that when I see this picture, I, I see myself playing on Indiana Avenue while my grandma was sitting over and looking at us. So, like I said, I would just like to thank everybody for coming out today and supporting this event. And um, I hope you guys enjoy the mural days to come. And um, thank you so much. I appreciate it.